Today, I'm going to have a short demo about retrofitting in LoRaWAN, and I thought of making a short video um, during the preparation of a workspace. So I've created a workspace here called Retrofit Demo, and in this, there are two devices already, and I've created an overview. So now let's assume you've got um, a gas supply station in your industrial area, and you want to uh, monitor the fill level of the tank. So we are going to use um, Androgino LT 22222 because it has some analog inputs, and we are now going to add this to data cake. So first of all, let's search for the template. Um, we select Things Network because the device is attached to Things Network gateway here. Um, we are going to select the free plan and give it a name, LT22222 gateway, and the device UI, we add this device. And first of all, things we see is the first dashboard. So I'm now going to reset the device once more that it rejoins and sends the current data. Yeah, and here we can see that currently there are 8.8 .8 volts um, at analog input number two. And we are now going into the configuration and create a mapping field for the analog pressure sensor that you attach to the LD222. So we go into um, analog voltage number two and we add a mapping field. And let's assume this is um, zero to 10 volts pressure sensor. So we're going to create a mapping field from zero to 10 and scale that to zero to um, 350 bars. So let's say this is um, a pressure sensor that is measuring from zero to 350 bars. And this is the tank fill level. And um, we're going to save this as well. So um, back to the dashboard. And next, we're going to create a short value widget, a small value widget with the tank fill level in here. The unit is bars. And we can also create a small gauge with scales to 350. This is green for OK. This is red. We save it, um, move it up a little bit, and show the actual graph. And now I'm going to simulate um, a little pressure drop with um, setting the voltage to a different level. And I'm now going to reset the device once more so that we are now receiving the current or the new data. And I'm now going to create um, a rule so that if there is a serious pressure drop on the tank that you are informed, um, we're going to select the device which is the gateway and the field is the tank fill level. If this is, um, we can set a time range here. So like minimum and from four hours ago up until now, um, if the minimum is less than let's say 80 bars, um, please send an email or send them an SMS to my um, number and insert a placeholder like tank is um, critical level. And in the placeholder, we are also choosing the um, tank fill level. So if the pressure now drops below 80 bars for at least four hours, this means that the tank really is about to go empty and it sends out an SMS. And you can add um, multiple receivers here, but you could also do emails. And in addition to that, you could also set LoRaWAN downlinks on, let's say, um, the gateway to switch off relays that we have here or switch them on. So you could attach an alarm light on that and have some um, yeah, automation. Um, we create that rule or we can leave it out because I don't want to send SMS to my cell phone. Um, in the overview, we could also see, because there's um, some more devices in here, like the Strega wall for water supply and also our dust control, which matters the air quality. And I've put this into a small overview where you can see the air pollution, the water control. And in that overview, we could also now um, create the tank fill level and have this placed here somewhere as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.